Candace Montgomery, born on June 15, 1950, in Dallas, Texas, grew up in a religious household and was known for being a devout Christian. After graduating from high school, she attended the University of North Texas, where she met her future husband, Pat Montgomery. The couple got married in 1971 and moved to Willie, Texas, where they had two children, a son, and a daughter. In today's video, we will be talking about Candace Montgomery case. Without further ado, let's begin. At the time of the incident, Montgomery was 30 years old and was known for being an active member of the First United Methodist Church of Lucas. She was also a homemaker and had a reputation for being a friendly and outgoing person. In the late 1970s, Candy Montgomery met Alan Gore, a local firefighter, and the two began an affair. Gore was married to Betty Gore, and the couple had two young children. The affair between Montgomery and Gore lasted for several months and was conducted in secret. As the affair continued, tensions between the two women began to escalate. Betty Gore became suspicious of her husband's behavior and eventually discovered evidence of the affair. On June 13, 1980, Betty went to Montgomery's house to confront her about the affair. According to the prosecution, Montgomery, armed with an axe, attacked Betty when she arrived at her house. Montgomery struck Betty 41 times with the axe, killing her instantly. The murder was brutal and gruesome, and the community of Willie was shocked and horrified by the crime. Montgomery was arrested and charged with murder, and the case went to trial in 1981. During the trial, the prosecution argued that Montgomery had killed Betty out of jealousy and rage, and that the murder was premeditated. The defense, however, claimed that Montgomery had acted in self-defense and that she had been suffering from temporary insanity at the time of the murder. The trial of Candy Montgomery was highly publicized and controversial. The defense argued that Montgomery had been suffering from temporary insanity at the time of the murder and that she had been driven to kill Betty by years of emotional and psychological abuse at the hands of her husband. The prosecution, on the other hand, argued that Montgomery had killed Betty out of jealousy and rage and that the murder was premeditated. After a month-long trial, the jury found Montgomery not guilty of murder by reason of temporary insanity. The verdict was controversial and sparked a debate about the use of the insanity defense in criminal trials. Many people believed that Montgomery had gotten away with murder and that the verdict was a miscarriage of justice. After the trial, Montgomery moved away from Willie and changed her name to Candace Wheeler. She remained out of the public eye for many years and did not give any interviews about the case. In the years following the trial, the case of Candy Montgomery continued to be a source of controversy and debate. Some people believe that Montgomery had gotten away with murder and that the verdict was a miscarriage of justice. Others argued that Montgomery was indeed suffering from temporary insanity at the time of the murder and that the verdict was justified. The case of Candy Montgomery remains a cautionary tale about the dangers of infidelity and jealousy and about the devastating consequences that can result from a moment of rage. The murder of Betty Gore was a tragic and senseless act of violence that left two families shattered and a community reeling in shock and disbelief. Although the case is now several decades old, it continues to be a source of fascination and controversy and serves as a reminder of the fragility of human emotions and the importance of seeking help when faced with overwhelming feelings of anger or jealousy. The case of Candy Montgomery is often cited as an example of how a seemingly normal and religious person can commit an act of violence when driven by jealousy and rage. Montgomery's case has been analyzed by psychologists and criminologists to understand the factors that led to the murder and the controversial verdict that followed. One of the factors that has been explored in the case is the role of religion in Montgomery's life. As a devout Christian, Montgomery was deeply committed to her faith and was an active member of her local church. However, the affair with Alan Gore was in clear violation of the Christian teachings on fidelity and adultery. Some experts have argued that Montgomery's guilt over the affair and her fear of being exposed as an adulterer contributed to her feelings of anger and jealousy towards Betty Gore. Another factor that has been explored in the case is the dynamics of the extramarital affair. The affair between Montgomery and Gore was conducted in secret and the two were constantly worried about being discovered. 
The secrecy and the fear of exposure likely added to the stress and tension in the relationship, which may have contributed to the escalation of emotions and the eventual murder. The defense's argument of temporary insanity was also scrutinized by experts in the field. While temporary insanity is a recognized legal defense, it is often difficult to prove. The defense argued that Montgomery had been driven to the brink of a nervous breakdown by years of emotional and psychological abuse at the hands of her husband. However, many experts have questioned the validity of this claim and have argued that it was an attempt to shift the blame from Montgomery to her husband. The use of the insanity defense in the case also sparked a debate about its effectiveness in criminal trials. Some critics argued that the defense was overused and that it allowed violent criminals to escape punishment. Others argued that the defense was a necessary safeguard against punishing individuals who were not fully responsible for their actions. The aftermath of the trial was also controversial. While Montgomery was found not guilty by reason of temporary insanity, many people in the community of Willie still believed that she had gotten away with murder. The verdict was seen as a miscarriage of justice by some, and it left a lasting impact on the community. In the years following the trial, Montgomery remained out of the public eye and changed her name to Candace Wheeler. She continued to live a quiet life and did not speak publicly about the case. However, the case continued to be a source of fascination and controversy, and it has been the subject of books, articles, and documentaries. In conclusion, the case of Candy Montgomery is a tragic example of how jealousy and rage can lead to senseless acts of violence. The case has been studied by experts in the field to understand the factors that contributed to the murder and the controversial verdict that followed. The case has also sparked debates about the role of religion, the dynamics of extramarital affairs, the use of the insanity defense, and the impact of violent crimes on communities. While the case is now several decades old, it remains a cautionary tale about the dangers of giving in to overwhelming emotions and the importance of seeking help when faced with difficult situations. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.